What's up, everybody? Welcome to Clown World News. Today we're talking about the Oscars. The Oscars went ahead and went full woke. The Oscars make inclusion a requirement for Best Picture consideration beginning in 2024. And why are they waiting for 2024? Why not do it tomorrow? Why not? I don't. I don't know when the Oscars are. They're probably not tomorrow. But <laughs> it is odd that the 2024 is there date so the next president okay but what do you mean inclusion is a requirement for best picture consideration now before we jump in first off the oscars pretty much just an employee of the month contest and we've already heard how people got oscars in the past a little bit of weinstein action you know what i'm saying a little bit of harvey well, but they had to put a dent in Harvey, if you know what I'm saying. Five years after the hashtag Oscars so white hashtag triggered. <laughs> you can't put a hashtag, I guess, I guess but you should have just put Oscars so white then a hashtag regardless. Triggered controversy. The group behind the awards have made inclusion a requirement to be considered to win them. Because everybody knows that winning an award for something has nothing to do with whether or not you were the best at that something. It has everything to do with how colorful your cast of characters was. It has to do with how much the people involved look like the cover of a sociology book, textbook. That's that's real choice. And what represents the most direct link between the movie industry's top prize and efforts to promote diversity and address systemic issues the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences announced Tuesday that movies must meet certain criteria in terms of representation in order to be eligible for the Academy Award for Best Picture, beginning in 2024. It's not like the Olympics, it's not like this happens every four years. You could probably do this 2021 if you wanted. When are the, when are the Oscars? Are they coming out soon? I, I always try to watch the best picture winners the last best picture winner that i think i saw was green book i recommend it it was a good movie it was about race but it wasn't cringy in a lot of ways it was it subverted expectations unlike game of thrones season eight introduced under an initiative called aperture 225 why would what why not call it 224 <laughs> The organ I don't know, I don't get any of these numbers. I'm bad at math, but I don't I don't think you need to be good at math to understand this. The organization said the goal was to encourage equitable representation on and off screen in order to better reflect the diversity of the movie going audience. Well to be fair, a lot of these movies that win Best Picture, they don't have a big sway in theaters. I mean Lord of the Rings swept it, Titanic swept it, but some of these movies, like Moonlight, I I never heard of it, and I also no offense, but I there's some movies I just don't care about because they're not made for me. They might be great movies, like Moonlight, Brokeback Mountain. The, those might be great movies. Brokeback Mountain actually lost a crash, I believe. Because I remember on MTV they're making a big deal about how it should have been Brokeback Mountain. It could have been such a great moment, but I. I never saw those. I'm sorry. I I just know they're not made for me. That's okay. It's okay to make movies for certain for niches. But now we got to make movies for everybody, which also happens to be China, because that's where a lot of the money's made. Can we have a category for the biggest pander to China? <laughs> movies that made the most amount of money in China. If we have a, an objective. Uh, award ceremony like just for money made I think like Vin Diesel would win quite a few I think the Fast and Furious movies make an obscene amount of money worldwide but I, I haven't checked films must meet at least two of four benchmarks they include featuring actors from underrepresented groups in significant roles see the problem with this already is what uh, underrepresented groups what is that that's very vague or accounting for at least 30% of the cast. Okay, now that's very specific. How are you gonna include something really vague with something super specific? 
Similar criteria in terms of those working on the film behind the scenes, a significant commitment to paid apprenticeships, internships, and career development, and significant representation among the teams devoted to marketing, publicity, and distribution. Alright, I get it, Hollywood. You, people don't care about you as much. People think you're all just a bunch of baby eaters. But I don't know if this is the way you're going to dig yourself out of this hole. You might find that you're just like Shadow and Homeward Bound, and you're going to stay in that hole until at least the third or fifth call. <laughs> During the Oscar campaigns in 2022 and 2023, movies will have to submit a confidential inclusion standards form. Why is it cut? What? But that won't prevent eligibility until the 96th Academy Awards, next year's awards, encompassing movies released in 2020, have already been delayed by two months due to the disruption in film. Wait, what? What are they saying? No, next year's awards. Awards. Okay, they're going to include some from 2020 because of the whole incident. Things haven't been changed. <laughs> been the same since the incident happened. Are we going to look back on this time and be like, hey, remember when we all wore masks except like half of us didn't and then the other half got pissed and then we got pissed at each other? That was fun. The change was made in consultation with the Producers Guild of America and adapted from standards developed by the British Film Institute that must be met to earn funding for certain projects in the UK. Ah, so that's why whenever you see like an Engl like a BBC like movie about like knights or something, the Crusades, there's a bunch of black knights, which I'm sure there were some black knights, but all of a sudden, King Arthur is black. I guess, I mean, you're not going for realism, but that's okay, too. You know, just don't, as long as we don't, like, it's like, it's like our food or plate. As long as you don't make, mix the ketchup and fries with the mashed potatoes, you don't want ketchup on your mashed potatoes. It's gross. You gotta keep, yeah, keep them separated. Dun, dun. You know what I'm saying? So, like, as long as, like, you, you are, you're upfront about what you're making, that's okay. That's cool. I don't mind diversity I really don't I just think if you're there's you know if you're trying to make a movie where the Nazis are the bad guys you probably shouldn't use an Eskimo to play Hitler it just doesn't fit you know <laughs> the narrative and I don't think anybody ever would make that mistake and I don't think people would ever get upset I don't think people are out there lining up like hey how come there's no black Nazis we, we never you never let black actors play the Nazis you know, I don't know. How, how come... <laughs> the latest announcement follows a concerted push by the Academy to expand its membership ranks because they need more members. Because people probably don't want to eat babies. Or whatever it is they do in Hollywood. And many more women and people of color. In June, an additional 819 new members were invited into the group. 45% of them women and 36% people of color. Representation among the latter has more than doubled since the membership initiative began in 2016. Well, you know what doesn't help? Movies like this. Like, you're going to make a movie and you're going to call it Duh Five Bloods. Is it Spike Lee? Is that is that who made it? Yeah, of course. Of course Spike Lee made it. Duh Five Bloods? Really? Duh the number five bloods why can't you call it the five bloods why is it duh the five bloods why has it gotta be i mean i'm just saying like why it's just like it, it's condescending in a way but i don't know I, I never saw that movie let me know if you think if you think that movie was good because maybe i'll check it out but it, i just figured when i saw it there's a lot of movies that i look at and i'm like i know what that movie is sometimes i'm wrong though like, I saw, or I looked at three billboards outside of Ebbing, Missouri, and I was like, I know what that is. I don't want to see it. And then, randomly, one day, I put it on. Within the first five minutes of that movie, I was like, no, this is a great movie. I can tell. This is going to be awesome. And it was awesome. That movie is great if you haven't seen it. The Oscars made history earlier this year when Parasite was anointed. Ooh, anointed. Like a baby getting his first baptism best picture becoming the first non-english language film and first south korean film to receive the prize that's it that's all they have it's not a lot of info but yeah the oscars 
You know, you gotta be diverse. Everything's gotta be diverse. You know, forget... Forget making movies just to make movies. Yeah, make them diverse. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I think it's silly. Because I think forced diversity is silly. I think for sure you shouldn't exclude people. But you shouldn't force people. Now, I'm, I'm personally against affirmative action. I think that's pretty racist. This doesn't seem remotely as racist as affirmative action, but it does seem a bit odd. Is it going to be like, oh yeah, that 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 movie only won because, you know, Ben Affleck's Batman or whatever the fuck. I don't I don't know what movie would be non diverse. That I guess Ben Affleck's Batman is pretty diverse. I don't know, but whatever. Uh, the the Abba bi- biography. Did they made an Abba biography movie already? Yeah, they made Mamma Mia, right? Okay, so never mind. Well, yeah, but... I don't know. We're going to have to talk about how these, like, certain movies that were great, but they didn't they didn't get picked because they didn't have enough black people in it. Or, or they're going to force token person of colors roles into movies. Is it going to... See, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know what it is. I don't know if I even really care. Four years from now, man, I'm not. Like, I've been so tunnel visioned on, like, all right, when can I go to Canada? When is that border opening? When do I have, when can I not wear the same mask that I've been wearing for the last five months? (laughs) To be fair, whenever I put it on, I only breathe in and out my nose, and I'm like really calm. And then I take it off as soon as I check out, and I walk out, and I put it in the pocket, and I put it in the same spot. I don't know, to be fair to who, I mean, really, it's just my problem I have to deal with, but I'm not a slob, I promise, my room is clean. Just don't, don't look. But yeah, alright, I'm I'm digressing really hard, I don't think there's more, I thought there'd be more to talk about with this, but yeah, you can go back to Google, there's a bunch, people be talking about this right now. Ooh, Christy Alley calls new Oscar diversity standards a disgrace to artists everywhere. Yeah, what if you had, like, a painting contest, but it's, like, we're only going to accept paintings that have 30% of all colors. No black and white paintings. You're not allowed to only use black, white, and red. No, I know that's artsy. I'm sorry. I know. Because, like, blood. Yeah, we'll do, like, a black and white movie, but, like, when somebody gets caught, it'll be bloody. It'll be red. Ha. I know it's really artsy. I'm sorry, guys. Christy Alley says no. So what's your favorite Christy Alley movie? Mine's the one where her and Tim Allen go to the Amish town. I don't remember what that was that called. What's that movie called? For Richer or For Poor. That movie's hilarious. It's probably not, but I just remember it for some reason. <laughs> also, shout out to that movie because I'm pretty sure a police shoots at him. police officer shoots at him as he pulls up a cell phone because they thought it was a gun. And he's white. That was way ahead of its time. But uh, this is also different. What was the one with uh, the dude from In the Army Now? Uh, Polly Shore? What was that? And his name is like Spider? Was it? There's a lot of movies where they go to Amish Town. What was that movie called? It's called like, The Son in Law. Okay, yeah. No, that movie was probably not good either. Was In the Army Now even good? Or and. You know what movie is good? Because I talk about a lot of bad movies. I should talk about a good one before we go. Uh, Starship Troopers. That movie holds up today. It's actually very poignant. It's very relevant. The CGI is not bad. It's there for sure. You can tell. But it's also done pretty tastefully. And the whole movie has this tone about it. It takes itself just the right amount of serious that it really nails it. So yeah, tell me your favorite movie. My favorite movie of all time is The Thing. John Carpenter's version, The Thing, 1980, I believe. It's a great movie. Just if you haven't seen it, seriously go watch it. And I I love like modern blockbusters. I like that good pacing. That movie holds up. I'm pointing over here because if you look, you can see the I got the movie poster. I also got the script. And it says it's signed. But I, it's it's photo copy. But anyways, uh, that wraps it up. Diversity Oscars. Does anyone give a fuck? I don't know. You tell me in the comments. Uh, be a good person though. 
take everything you see with a grain of salt, eat good food, call your mom, peace.